Okay, sorry about the last time. Is the file got last lost on Audacity, so it's me and Kill it's just me, Killer J, right now with Burnout. Hello. Yes, this is a self parked fractured butthole. So yeah, the game is pretty good though. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be. The uh, the boss battle with Jared Fogel is pretty crazy. Six inch terror, nice. Yeah, yeah, it's six inches too small. Oh, fuck, he was raping kids. Why don't we give him a foot long? Kind of monster. Yeah, fuck. Anyway, the game's pretty funny. Like, like me and Hayden said before, my audacity error. The review, the game plays pretty good and all that. There. Yeah, it just there, there's a there's a mess up. Yep. All right. So, uh, what else do you have to say? So. What else do I have to say? Yeah. From what I, from what I was saying, seeing it, you know, it seems, it seems, it seems to be a lighthearted comic RPG, you know, set in the sub park universe, second in the series, building upon the first one, adding new elements in. I've, I've never played it because, I mean, you basically play games for a living. I don't, I don't play much, much games honestly. No. So, so this is so my experience is stuff that is limited, but. The little, bit, the little bits of pieces that I've seen, they seem to be alright. Yeah, it's pretty good though, uh, from what I played. I played the thing there, got to the PlayStation, it's a very good play there. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, well, oh, the, well the, gameplay, the gameplay is solid and fun, and I guess that's all that matters. Like, the graphics might be a bit simplistic, but it fits into the sub part, into, the, into the, the, the universe well. Like... You know, uh, I'm trying to come up with an analogy, analogy here. Yeah. But it, it's it's like I don't know. Trying try, try, try to think of one of the Mega Man games and transpose them into 3D. Everything. It's a, it's a 2D game. It's yeah, it's a 2D hard. game, but uh, it's really good for the graphic style of the game. It, yeah, pretty much. Whereas if you try to transpose that to 3D, it just it fucking looks weird. But, yeah, but we're so poor, we're so far to crash with hole. The graphics are a bit simplistic, but that's just how the show itself is animated. And it would just wouldn't be right if you tried making the graphics more up to date with with you know current console trends. It, just, it would look weird, really weird. Well, that's it too. Uh, we might as well get the rating out of the game there. We're reading right now, so uh, I'll rate it a nine out of ten. Yeah, judging off of gameplay. Roughly an eight out of ten, I'd say. Just, just, just for mind it down. Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you again, bro, for helping me out there with this. There, hopefully, it'll save this time. So. Yeah, hopefully. All right. So All right. I want to say thank you for watching and uh, check out some more reviews and come up next. A uh, bunch of stuff. You might see a video of bro uh, doing some crazy stuff there. Yeah. Essentially, don't, eh, don't, don't die unless you're going to go crazily. If you're not going to make the news, don't die. No, uh, you know what I mean? Silly stuff there. Some good old antics there. Yeah. So, anyway, it's Killer J. And Burnout. See you guys later. Yeah. Hi, guys. Killer J. We're back in today. Yes, uh, self Park the Fractured Blood Pool. Yes, this is episode... Uh, 104, I believe, so, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, you've seen the review from me and Burnup, but, uh, the file for the original review got lost, which, technical error, freaking crap there, but, anyway. I want to say, I want to say for out, the, out there that I have, I uh, want to say for the people that are, helped me out there with this review, I want to say thank you to Burnup and uh, Killer Lee, thank you for helping me out with this review. And, uh, yes, this game here is awesome. Play it. You get it with the Xbox One. PS4 and uh, Xbox One, PS4, and I'm pretty sure PC Steam. So, anyway, uh, it's an RPG role playing, pretty good overall role playing game. You know, 
very fun, it's a very funny game, very, has very good humor and stuff like that, you know? South Park, well, you come to love from South Park, which is pretty good, so, yes, uh, anyway, uh, I want to say to all the people out there, I want to say thank you for watching this video, and, uh, come up next, I'm gonna, I'm expecting to do a review on either, uh, some other games in general, maybe Tales from the Borderlands or something like that. There's a bunch of plans. There was a bunch of plans coming up. There's a bunch of things coming up there. Just have to, just have to get to them in that there. But you no, know, falling behind and. But I'm trying to catch up on this stuff there. I'm trying to give you guys a product there that you can enjoy the reviews overall and like reviews are good there. Should be good, good quality. But uh, yes, play this game. Like I'm saying right now, please play this game. You need to play this there. This game is a fun must play. You need to play it right now. If you have a PS4, Xbox One, make it happen. Make it happen. Make play it. You need to play this game at least once because this one is much more improvement over to South Park to Stick of Truth because this one is basically a parody of Marvel vs. DC crossovers and stuff like that, which is pretty interesting. But it has the South Park humor. It has PC principle. It has uh, J.R. Fogel's boss fight. It has the crap people. It has stuff like that from South Park. It has the bullies, the the sixth graders, and stuff like that. It has any like like all the stuff from South Park. It has all there. It has all the South Park characters. It has it has you can play as the new kid and customize and all that stuff. So, uh, ah, excuse me about that. That uh, was uh, a burp. Excuse me there again. There, excuse me. But uh, anyway. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching this video, and uh, come up next, I'll have some stuff, I don't know what's going to be the next review, but uh, thank you for watching this video overall, if you got through it to the end, uh, I want to say thank you, and, I will sh and I'll have this cameo of this, uh, I'll show have this at the end there, and I'll have the piece, but I'm going to have a reviewer that was in the holiday special, he's going to be in this review also, so I'm going to hear what he has to say about the game, and uh, overall I want to say thank you for watching. And thank you guys out there for supporting my channel and giving all the likes and comments, and feedback, all that stuff. Thank you. I honestly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this review because this game here, you know, it needs to be played. It's just a blast to play. You know, it's easy to get into it, an easy RPG to get into. It's not like some, uh, like you're going to have a hard time with it. You're going to have it. It's a accessible. It's easy to enjoy because I'm not really a big RPG guy. I'm more of a first person shooter type of guy, but. Anyway, I wanted to give this game a chance, and it surprised me and impressed the hell out of me. So, thank you, everybody out there, for watching. See you guys later, and, uh, yeah, check out some more content, and uh, see people later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Peace out. See you guys for the next one. Alright, on to the show. Wait, so it's Park. No. Action, but it's a funny game and a good role play game. Thank you. Let's say you're a killer, Jay. South Park is action, but Hull has PC Jazz for the boss battle and it's pretty crazy. PC principle. Thank you.